Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for April 11th of 2024 is titled Eclipse in 7. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the images of the total solar eclipse of April the 8th of this year. So just a couple of days ago, and we see a set of seven images starting in the upper left. And there you see just a small portion of the sun being blocked out by the moon. And as we progress down into the right, more and more of the sun will be blocked out. So in the second and third image, we only see a crescent of the sun of visible. Now the middle image is the image taken during totality that is when the moon was completely blocking out the sun. And in this case, we can see the solar corona. Now the corona is the outer atmosphere of the sun and it's always present but we normally cannot see it because it is so much fainter than the rest of the sun. So the only way to be able to see it is during a, an eclipse when the moon blocks out the rest of the sun and allows us to see the outer atmosphere. Now there are ways to make artificial eclipses to study the corona without having to wait for an eclipse. But this is really the time that it can actually be seen by the average person. Now over time then the moon then continued its motion and we can then see as we move down toward the lower right that first a little bit of the sun is visible and then progressively more and more. And it would we hit if we were to go a little further to either side of this, we would then see the whole disk of the sun. Now the entire eclipse took about two and a half hours from the time the first small bite was taken out of the sun as the moon just started to touch it until the moon finally left the sun's surface. So the entire eclipse did take a couple of hours. However, the actual totality phase was much shorter and is typically only a few minutes long. Now the exact length of totality depends on where you were located. If you were very close to the central portion of the eclipse path, it might have lasted three, four, five minutes. If you were closer to the edge of it, then you would not have seen you might have had only a a minute or even less of totality. It simply depends on where you happen to be located there as to how long that total phase would last. It's how long it takes the moon to completely uh, cover the sun and how long it can do that. Now that depends on how big the moon and the sun appear in the sky. They're roughly the same apparent size. However, sometimes the moon is a little closer to Earth. And at those times the moon will look a little bit bigger so it can actually cover the sun for a slightly longer period of time. Other times the moon is a little farther away and cannot quite cover the entire T of the sun and we get what we call an annular eclipse. So here we get to see seven images from the total solar eclipse of April the 8th, just a couple of days ago. So that was our picture of the day for April 11th of 2024. It was titled Eclipse in 7. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.